uh, we'll con conclude with this primary one here, inshallah, and then we'll resume uh, next week, inshallah ta'ala, that our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, hadith is in Muslim and in other narrations as well, that as for the people of uh, the fire who are its real inhabitants. So the process is distinguished, the hadith is gonna go on. He's gonna mention two categories of punishment, right? And the first category he is saying, as for the people of Nar, who are the real people of Nar, they shall never live or die. They're never gonna live, you don't call that living, and they shall never die. But he said, there shall be another group of people. The fire of hell will touch them, will afflict them because of their sins. And they shall die a type of death until they become like charcoal, they become burnt up. Then they will be interceded for and they will come in batches and groups and they will be thrown into the fire, uh, and sorry, into the river of life. And then uh, it will be said, O oh, people of Jannah, go ahead and enter it. And so they're going to sprout forth like a seed sprouts forth and it becomes full. Those people are gonna become refreshed and then enter uh, Jannah. And they're gonna be called Jahannamiyun for a period of time until finally their marks will be removed from them. And then they're going to be completely in uh, Jannah. Now, now, this hadith is very interesting because our Prophet Sallallahu distinguished between the people of the fire who are, he said, it's real people. And he said, those people, permanent. They're never gonna leave, never gonna die, everything will be there for them. Then he said, there is another group, he said, they are not Ahlun Nar. The people of Iman are never going to be Ahlun Nar. The people of the Kalima will never be inside that Jahannam. Rather, what did our Prophet say? They're going to be people, Asabathumun Nar. The fire of hell is affecting them. It is influencing them, or it is some, it is, it is, it is, you know, obviously punishing them, but they are not of the people of hell. And therefore, from this we conclude in our today's lecture that hell has many darakat, and either the very top layer is outside of the walls of Jahannam, and that will be the layer for the unrighteous of the Muslims, or that there is an area that is not even called the layer of Jahannam, in which the punishment will be there, but it will not be the actual punishment of Jahannam. Now in either case, it's really just a technical difference. The point that I'm trying to stress here is that the people of Iman are not going to be treated as the people of Kufr. And this is why it is so important, dear Muslims, that we pray, even if it is occasional, it is better than not praying at all, because our Prophet ﷺ said that the fire of hell will not touch the places of sajda. It is important that we do wudu, it is important that we give charity, we fast Ramadan, it is important that we do these deeds, because the hadith in Bukhari and Muslim says, the people of Jannah will argue in front of Allah, and they will say, oh Allah, these were our brothers, they would pray with us and fast with us and give charity with us. So these are sinful Muslims who did these deeds and they're ending up down there. And so in the end of the day, uh, we realize that there are going to be groups of Muslims that will be punished. We have to make sure we are not amongst those groups, but those that are punished are not going to be in the same levels, the same darakat as the people who have rejected Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And with that, inshallah, we conclude for today and we'll resume next week. Until